computer. Yes, thank you. Okay, so this is the first week of 13 of Mary Kay's and then some. So the difference between average and top people can be explained in three words, and then some. They are thoughtful of others, they're considerate and kind, and then some. They meet their responsibilities and their obligations fairly and squarely, and then some. They are good friends to their friends and can be counted on in an emergency, and then some. That is from Mary Kay Ash. And then like some. That. Mary Kay once said, there are three types of people in the world. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who wonder what happened. <laughs> we all have a choice. You can decide which type of person you want to be. I have always chosen to be in the first group. So the introduction and then some. Let's begin our journey with a question. Which group do you choose? Perhaps it's a question you've never asked yourself before. After all, everyone carries dreams in their hearts, but not everyone realizes they also have the power to make their dreams come true. Dreams may begin with a simple wish, but rarely do they come true by sheer luck. They most often come true with hard work. So let me ask the question again, which group do you choose? People who make things happen, those who dare to fulfill their dreams don't just achieve the success by chance. Success is first achieved by realizing a goal, second by creating a plan to achieve it, and third by having the self-discipline and courage to work for it. Along the way, challenges and self-doubt may appear, yet those who persevere and are, are rewarded with a journey of self-discovery and celebration that can change them forever. What do you risk by remaining closed to the possibilities of your greatness? A Mary Kay business that doesn't flourish? A friendship that ends before it begins. Untold lives not enriched because the Mary Kay opportunity was never offered. Then greatness becomes quiet. When dreams go unrealized, then in time, you too might ask yourself, what happened? There is a saying, and then the day came when the risk to remain tight as a bud was more painful than the risk it took to bloom. Are you ready to celebrate the greatness within you? As Mary Kay shared, you have a choice. You can overcome obstacles and be a winner, or you can allow them to overcome you and be a loser. Remember, it is far better to be exhausted by success than rested from failure. A very successful man once asked the secret, was once asked the secret to his success, and he said, I can tell you in three short words, and then some. I have always tried to do everything I was supposed to do, and then some. Those three words made all the difference in my success, and they too can make all the difference in your success. So that's the introduction of the and then some. <coughs> oh, apparently I'm not done the introduction because the next part is the seeds of greatness. So I have a, um, I'm going to, we're gonna listen first. So what I would suggest is to have a notebook or something over the next 13 weeks that you can make some notes um, or just if you want to journal about or notes that you're taking um, when we're going through each of the specific weeks. Um, and so I'm going to, I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to record this session and Mary Kay's teaching. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to stop the recording and then we can do some discussion and stuff like that. So, um, remind me to stop the recording when we get to that point, um, so that people can still have access to this stuff without all the personal stuff unless of course they're on it so okay so um hopefully you guys can hear this let me know it's just mary kay speaking as a mary kay independent sales director can you hear it yeah. clearly a little louder Love. or maybe i'll i'll go louder you are suggestions that have worked for others and it may be useful or inspiring 
as that may help you build your Mary Kay business. Success is not a selfish objective. So if you've been thinking that, get that out of your mind. You see, there's no way that you can succeed unless you find a need and fill it, find a hurt and heal it, find a problem and solve it. I just want to make sure, is the, um, is the sound okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Fine Somebody once said that Mary Kay Cosmetics is a unique way of life. It provides the brushes and the oils and the pigments and the canvas on which you can paint your life just as you want it to be. You choose your own colors, your own design, and your own pattern. And your Mary Kay career can help you paint a beautiful picture of your life. Can't hear it anymore. Pardon? Can't hear it anymore. It got real muffled there. I have my like old school stereo. Success <laughs> could be had by simply giving 10% more. He gave the example of the fact that the average American man stands close to 72 inches high. But if you subtract 10% of his height, you have a smaller man of five foot five, but add 10% and you've got a giant on your hands. And so it is with virtually every facet of our lives. Take away 10% of your present attitude and chances are nobody will even want to be around you. But add 10% to what you are now and you will be positively dynamic. Isn't that an easy formula? Somebody said that it's one thing to itch for something, but quite another to scratch for it. We all want things, but relatively few of us really put forth the effort required. And the extra effort is often only slightly above the average. And a marvelous change comes about when we go the second mile and make that 10% extra effort. It is well said that triumph is just a combination of try and ump. And that's not really so hard. But the reason that so many people don't make the grade is that they are nearlies. Now, if you've never heard that word before, they nearly succeed in everything they do. My mother used to say, much good work is lost with the lack of a little more. And she pushed me up with that. There are many people who could go over the top and become tremendous assets to themselves and to their company if they would only give that little bit of effort extra effort willingly and I want you to decide right now that in your life you're going to give that extra 10 percent God didn't have time to make a nobody he just didn't you know he didn't he just had time to make a somebody I just know that God must cry when he looks down and sees that we don't use all of our power when he created you he had a beautiful and special plan for your life and he knew that he had created within you all of the abilities and all of the talents that you needed to be the beautiful creature that he had destined you to be. He planted in you the seeds of greatness. And you can be anything you want to be. You can climb any mountain that you want to climb. You can reach any goal that you want to reach. It's all within you. Your belief in yourself and your faith in yourself. Believe that you are going to become the best you it can possibly be. But remember that all your goals and all your desires are of no value unless you put them into action. You have to put it into action. That is our week one from there, okay? So seeds of greatness, you truly are wonderful. And when God created you, he has a beautiful plan for your life. He planted within you the seeds of greatness. You can be anything you want to be. You can climb any mountain you want to climb. You can reach any goal you want to reach. It all lies within you. 
believe in yourself, have faith in yourself, and look for the best qualities in yourself. Believe that you are becoming the best you that you can be. Mary Kay Ash. So more than likely, your days are full of responsibilities to your family, to your Mary Kay business, to your friends, even your community and volunteer efforts. And in the midst of giving so much to others, how often have you wished, if I only had time to myself, I'd fill in the blank. So what's the, you don't have to say it out loud, just write it down. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? If I only had some time to myself, I'd write it down. How would you fill in that blank? How would you complete that sentence? If you had some me time to become the best you that you could be, would you finally pick up that paintbrush and create your masterpiece? Would you slow down and learn the value, the, the precious, learn to value the precious gift of living in the moment? Perhaps you'd vow to be more grateful and smile as you counted your blessings one by one. The blessing of your health, your children, your home, your life, or perhaps you'd spend quiet moments basking in the joy of daydreaming. If you ever, if you have ever wanted just a little me time, you're holding the key to those golden moments in your hands. This little journal is your passport to reintroducing yourself to things you loved long ago. Thoughts to help you overcome the challenges of today and the permission to dream big, think big, talk big, and walk big. Here's how, and then some works. Each week, you'll explore a specific trait, a trait that when fully engaged, can rock your world in positive, powerful ways. You can spend as much time or as little as you want doing your weekly reflections, exercises, and challenges. Along the journey, You'll be invited to read, listen, daydream, draw, write, doodle, scrapbook, plan, work, and play. But one thing's for certain, at the end of the 13 weeks, you'll welcome yourself back as an old friend has returned after many years away. And the best part, you'll realize just how much you've grown and you'll be proud of the person you have allowed yourself to become. As Mary Kay said, the seeds of greatness lie within you. This little journal is simply a partner in celebrating the successes that were, are, and yet to come. So <clears throat> that is week one. So that's where I said, I would, if you have a journal, if you don't have a journal and you need one, can't get one, whatever the reason is, let me know, I'll send you one. Um, and yeah, so that is our introduction of and then some and seeds of greatness so i am excited for next week and okay so i'll see you all next week